You just fail. Hold on. Oh no. Okay. What's wrong? Huh? Okay, this might be like a really bad question to ask, but like, how high, like, how high at the if uh, the, with an aval the event of an avalanche, how high on the tree would that go? <laughs> is that, yeah, is that a fair question. question to ask? I think it's a really good question. Like, 15 feet is high. Like, an avalanche is going to go 15 feet up a tree? I, have, I, like, mean, maybe, I don't know. Yeah. Like, maybe just, and, like, passing through, it can go high. But, like, mm -hmm. to, like, stay up there and, like, I don't, like, so, I don't know. Like, other than and passing like with the motion, stuff. with the motion of the avalanche, like the flow, would it, could it shake the tree? Would that cause like such a like turbulent experience for the tree to do it? And then also, like you can see in the pictures, like like the 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 snow that like um, piles up on the branches, could that just become too heavy and like boom break? I don't Maybe know. Those I would mean, be clean clean breaks, and that would, it would look like it was cut. That's a good question. I feel like I don't think that it would be like I feel like to do we'd have to like go outside and like take a bunch of like um like I think it's a good we should actually try this sometime maybe like grab a bunch of like um Feel similar. Mm -hmm. I'm not even kidding like I'm not kidding, I'll actually do this with you. Like grab a whole <laughs> bunch of like and let's cut it and let's see if like how much water how much pressure we can put on it of like water mm -hmm. or ice that it would break. That's a really good, it's a good to science do, subject. Like, that's trying to do that. science with me? Oh my I word, we just, I hardly know this. you, I just met you. Okay, oh but word. science is for everybody and that's how we, that's love. Science is love, that's why we do it. <laughs> Damn, that scared me. I apologize, I didn't mean to freak y'all out. It's okay, mama, it's okay. Yeah. That's okay, she's flirting with me in the form of science. <laughs> there, come here, the, good, they're, uh... Their room is adjacent to the office, and I've I heard a loud. The kids don't have school tomorrow. Hang on a second, y'all. I'm sorry. We're about to start. I have a tree right here. I'm about to cut off some of these branches tomorrow and see what I can. Oh, I'm gonna gosh, see how. I the, poor tree. I'm gonna do it. I, I don't support th this. Is tree aside? Uh, oh no, uh, this tree needs to be trimmed anyway. This is the tree that's like right in front of my front yard, and they're so long now that it's like on my roof. And like when this, when like the windy storms come in, like I don't want these big ass branches to fall it's gonna stay alive i'm just gonna take out some bigger ones so that way you know my my roof doesn't cave in ah all right all right that makes sense and it's a good and then in the name of science you know it's a good idea yeah for sure i mean i'll just you know i'll just blame Brittany and whatever <laughs> all right I'll, I'll i'll send my videos to her tomorrow <laughs> mm. no it's just us though also, like, how do you sort of, like, again, I don't know, I'm not a fire expert, uh, but, like, how do you start a fire? Where were the tools for that? And I actually want to know that, too. Did they have lighters? I, I, I'm assuming not, because they haven't said they found one. Did they have, like, flint? Did they actually yeah. grab, did they grab, like, the, the um, stuff that is under the snow, which is ridiculous? Like, you know, how would they build a fire when everything's wet? So if it's snow, everything's ah. wet. Like, how would you how would well, you get enough friction to build a fire? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. My kids are know. freaking mess, y'all. All right. <laughs> Someone didn't match his, but they were they were said to be wet. So I don't fucking know. But uh is uh generally correct, my new best friend, question mark. Mm -hmm. Hashtag science. From where they came. Oh my god, that creeps me out. And look, here's the trees. Even the trees look freaky. Okay. See, look at these branches. Look at that. Wow, you're, you're tree shaming. That's my good. Tree shaming. <laughs> Calling the branches fat. <laughs> How dare. <laughs> my, uh, how damn dare you all trees how are beautiful damn damn. <clears throat> here we go let's see next sorry trees also this is nothing compared to the tree shaming that's gonna be done later fuck you those trees that are fucking like trying to grab at the fucking people <laughs> allegedly those sideways trees mm -mm. so say f motherfuckers allegedly Dora Shinko, Kalmogrova, and Slobodin, the liver mortis spots were on the top surface of the body. This allows speculation that the bodies were moved, turned over after their death. So at least three 
of the victims' bodies were moved. It's like they were running out of ways to say, like, how unusual it is. It's, like, less likely. Like, it's the reverse that we would assume. Like, it's like, holy shit. Is there something somebody in chat needs? Ravine on the area of only a four square meters. Some of the clothes that were taken from the bodies left underneath the cedar tree were placed on the cedar branches, but apparently they were not used. Um, first was found. Think, the body. Oh. Yeah, go ahead. You're good. I was just thinking, it just occurred to me that maybe, like, what do you think maybe that was like more of like a flag? Like if they're going underneath, like they're trying, like a, like a signal, like we're here, like a, like an indicator. Could be. Yeah. I didn't think about that. Mm. It really could be. Yeah, Shift did give a warning, to be fair. Shift absolutely warned. Shift warned about a couple of things. <laughs> okay. Wait, what? I didn't do it, and if I did it, it sounds like I warned you. <laughs> I was like, no, I was saying, like, about this, the, the triggerness of this case and how it can... Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah, it's yeah. awful. And it just it gets you thinking because you want to figure out like how why you know like what the fudge happened right all right here we go let's keep going let's see the bodies of uh Kovatar and zala i cannot pronounce their names were embraced breast to back as if kolotov christian you're gonna have to go in there my mic is extra is is very sensitive all right the bodies of call of Two people were embraced breast to back as if Kalatov was protecting or trying to warm up Zolotar. The body mm -hmm. of, I know, right? The body of Thibo. Mm -hmm. uh, Hold on, I'm just skipping around. Damien had died. The film was damaged by water, so the question remains what was so important that he, to, that he captured on the uh, slope of the mountain that day? Was he also found holding? He was also found holding a pen in one hand and a small notepad in the other. Uh, one of the people who found him recalls that Colonel such and such grabbed the notepad, looked at it, cursed and said, he's written nothing. He seems to be the only one that has seen the notepad. The whereabouts of this notepad is unknown. This, oh, come on. Wait, it wait, the notepad is the notepad's gone missing? Yeah. They said it was never filed in evidence or seen by anyone else. On the other hand, we only we hear only from the person uh who found them about the whole episode with the pen notepad and the colonel saying he's written nothing. And that was fifty nine years after the fact in a recent letter of um uh, uh. asking to your raw pathfinder magazine do you know people were scared to talk so <clears throat> they said he written he he has written nothing and they said that the water messed up his film but how convenient is that i bet you he wrote something dun 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 allegedly <clears throat> in that whole notepad he didn't write he didn't write anything Come well, on. They, 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 they didn't find it, right? And then, like, I'll be a jerk and say, later we find out that the guy that saw it had, like, paper in his stomach or something. You know what I mean? Like, you fucking mm -hmm. eat it or whatever. Uh, well, he was a I'm going to look that up. Was, he was a member. I never of heard that. I never heard that detail. And again, like, what an odd, well, I don't know. To grab a pen and paper. Again, and you're. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. Yeah, like, maybe it was a celebrity. I'm just kidding. Sorry. That's I'm being rude. These people. A movie set? Yeah. No, no, no. He said. Oh. <laughs> it's, a man, it's, a man, it's a man and uh, it's all covered up. And I said, maybe it is. It, but here, well, what I was going to say is just that no matter what we think, I mean, and we're not going to de determine that, but the Manzi have a word for it. You know, that's, in, that's an, you know, interesting in itself is that. They have a word for it, despite like these specific travelers to describe something like that. 
according to Discovery Channel, at least, allegedly. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Very true. Christian, this will said hey. Hey, Sissel. <laughs> <laughs> All right, next bro. Took you so long. Oh, she said hey to you last night. About what took you oh. so long to laugh? I don't know if you uh you have somebody backstage. Uh yeah, I'm not I don't know who it is. Okay. Oh, I know them. I know them. Oh. Are they good? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very, very likable. Okay. Okay. Hi. Hello. How are you? I'm good. You're not gonna ping bomb me, are you? Not tonight. <laughs> okay. I'll, I'll make you feel better in the game of murder f what's the third one f, i always mary, want to say murder mary. f mary i always forget that one it was just odd because uh three thrice the times i've married this one so or been married to so don't worry oh okay yeah he might make a dad joke or something like that but other than that he's he's innocuous well, welcome. Thank you for joining us. Thanks for emasculating me like that, Shift. Appreciate You're it. You're welcome. I, no problem. <laughs> I'm, trying, I'm trying to make her feel comfortable. <laughs> this is weird. How damn dare. Okay, I'm going to do this one. Um, dude really got his film bad in this one. That's funny. <clears throat> Can you see that? Was diet love climbing up a tree? Well, <clears throat> I guess we can look at this for our evidence. He shimmied up the oh, tree. Yeah. That's a bear climb for sure. Also, hold on, Dino. I don't think I did that to you. I I, I said I married you three times. I, I know. So I'm, I'm mad joking. at you. I was just making okay. a joke. Well, I'm mad at you. We'll deal with it later. You're always mad at me. <laughs> <laughs> I guess this is them in the camp, and then. That okay, they are all wearing that outfit, Britt. Like they're all wearing the Yeti uniform. <laughs> just Wait, saying. Yeah, sure I can see. Oh, they're, they see they're all like Yeti just uniform. Yeah, they are. Yeah, I guess so because right, the pants were puffy, puffy mm. at the bottom, so that would make their legs look bigger. Mm -hmm. And then put on one of those puffy jackets, especially backwards. But the only thing that's really nagged me about those, I never saw them with like a full face covering. Mm. Yeah. But why would they take one a picture with a full face covering, I guess? But mm. Do you know are you familiar with this at all? Yep. I've seen a lot of documentaries about this. What do you think? What's your theory? Well, I used to think the Yeti thing. But then uh, I heard that that land that they're on is sacred to a certain tribe of people or something that live up mm -hmm. there and they're very protective of it yep so they may have been killed by these tribes people yep the manzi tribe yeah i don't i don't think they're friendly i i'm into the the the, the sonic warfare i'm into that like they they heard something there might have been a flash in the sky or something they came out and there's also a theory out. about that that the military may have had something to do with it yep mm -hmm. that's where my theory goes mm -hmm. allegedly they, that's where mine goes to i think there was uh something where they even found a like a big piece of metal like a plate from something really zero numbers on it really it may have been from Something that was exploded. Mm. Interesting. Brittany, that's where I was going. This Soviet Union, right? Mm. That's right. So you got the, at this time, they have what's called a neutron bomb that has come out. It's, it's nuclear. <clears throat> and uh, it could trigger an avalanche. And the shock waves are just going to blow you. <laughs> the neutron bomb is designed to leave buildings, in theory, leave buildings in places take care of everything else so who knows what could have happened up there but uh you can rest assured the kgb would cover it up real quick 
Allegedly. Also, these are spooky. Well, the ones that like the body parts missing. Spooky. I'm sorry. Didn't a couple of people have body parts missing? Um, there yeah, were tongues yeah. ripped out, and uh. Hey. This, I, I, this is my fault, you know. I'm here because I started this. <laughs> Trust me, I'm like, I feel bad. <laughs> so, Shift is doing her due diligence. Shift, hold on. Oh, got me there, alert. Yeah. There's, there's a lot of things about this. They say there might have been something psychological that somebody did to them because they looks like they fled their tents with no, yep. no protective clothing on and they cut their way out from the inside. Sure it is. Outside. My, so, my, you know, I'm so impressed by your knowledge of this game. Yeah. <laughs> 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 and yes, some were found, like, at the bottom. I think they found a couple of people at the bottom of a ravine where they were, and their skulls crushed. Yep. And, oh, and my. I'll, I'll mute. <laughs> so it, it didn't like they died. They didn't all die from exposure, it doesn't sound like. It sounds mm-hmm. like they were exposed, but something killed them before the cold could. See, maybe they were in their tents. They heard that sonic boom, and they came out to see what it was. But the odd thing is they cut their way out. Oh, my goodness. They didn't just yeah. run out the front of the tent. They would they cut their way out of like the backside or the side of the tent because they don't know. And it could have been military doing some kind of psychological experiment on them while they had them alone at this pass. Here's the crazy this will, part. This one's what? too late. It's too late, John. You've made the list. I heard I heard the animosity. <laughs> it's too late. Grandma yeah, right. won't save you. <laughs> Christian, this one said that she was watching the movie Gremlins with her family. I don't know what that is. He's like, <laughs> go back through it, but like those last three in the ravine with the broken rib cages and, and all of that. Mm-hmm. Like the pressure of a, right. a, a hypersonic boom. Like it would be a tremendous amount. It would like that of a car wreck, but there was no external damage. How do you take a hit like that with no bruising? Mm. Nerves inflamed again. And he is leaving such a pity. We dis- we distributed we distributed his load in our backpacks. It well, these are the, this is the diary. turns out that I won't wash up due to the lack of conditions. Got down on her knees. Hang on a up, second. Up, up, above the blue, right there. above the blue. Got it. <laughs> I looked away for a second, lost some spot. Okay, at least judging by his behavior, I'm still true to myself. Zinka and Zena saying, if you eyes hadn't been blue. Our guys rushed to the rescue. Finally, extremely lucky. The symphony in gold was showing. We left. They like that movie, don't they? Yeah. <laughs> I, know, I, lo- I love how like they're so similar about what they captured, too. It's delightful. <laughs> He tried to dance and even started singing Oh Jackie Joe. Anyway, uh, this is allegedly with Brittany J. Uh, there's obviously nearly five hours of this, um, but it was a pleasure to be on panel with uh, everybody that was there. My potential new best friend, um, the Riddler, Dino, of course, and the BJ. So, uh, yeah. Have a good one. And uh watch out for a yeti. Just kidding. Not kidding. Bye bye.